back to the marketplace we go. Man, I'm so excited. Okay. You, sir. I have your magic wand, and I'm going to trade it for one of your exotic prizes. You still interested in a trade? We're gonna do this. Which prize would you like to trade for? Bird. Talking bird. The talking bird. Uh -huh. <laughs> that scraggly heap of... A fantastic choice, young lady. Hold on a second, and I'll get him for you. A fantastic choice, and I really, really mean that. I had a feeling you would uh, appreciate this. Oh, jeez, don't manhandle him. Come here, buddy. I'm just gonna put you in my pants over here. Is that cool with you? Those skin tight pants I'm wearing. So, you're a bird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Did the old man send you to get me? A little bit. I guess he did. My name's April. Oh, God, is there no escape? I mean, not that I like being cooped up in a cage for gamblers to mm -hmm. gawk at and children to spit at all day, but give me a break. It's better than being locked away in a stinking chest. You mean... Thanks a whole bunch for rescuing me, April. You're welcome. No, 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 hey, hey, that's not what I meant. I was being sarcastic. Do you know what sarcastic means? Speak all tongue? Yes, yes, hmm? No, actually, I don't. I speak English. You're speaking all tongue just fine. English? English? I don't know where you're from, lady, but you're weird. Okay, so let me go already, all right? Enough with the I'm human so I can boss the bird around shtick. We're all impressed. Sorry, I promised the old man I'd win you back. I need a favor from him badly. Yeah. He's a bird. So what's so important you'd sacrifice a bird's happiness and well-being? He can fly. The fate of two worlds, billions of people, and the balance? Yeah? Yeah? So... No. Forget it. So were you always just bird? Or did you have a better name? No. It's always been bird. My full name is that damn bird. I learned that when I was two weeks old. That damn bird, the old man would say. No good ball of feathers. Then he beat me with a stick. What? Really? Uh, no. Um. He'd just stick me in the chest and forget about me. Which is almost as bad as beating, believe you me. I'm sorry to hear that, bird. You know, if you were my bird, I think I'd call you Crow. Yeah, well, I'm my own bird, lady, and I don't... Crow. You'd call me Crow? That's a pretty good name. I like it, it's too. a proper name, at least, not just an insult. Anyway, I guess I'd better get you back to your master bird. He's pining for you. Mm. All he's pining for is coin to gamble with. It's really none of my business. Sorry. I don't feel good about <laughs> this. Sure you are. I mean, he could just up and fly away, I guess, if he really wanted to. So I don't know why he's sticking with us. I feel bad, though. You know, I mean... I mean, I guess from a strictly utilitarian standpoint, um, we're sacrificing this bird's happiness to get, the sac to get the happiness of, you know, billions of people. So utilitarian would be all for it. But, you know, for taking say, uh, Kantian analysis of the situation, it's, it seems a little, I don't know, it, uh, seems like we're, we're using him, and that seems against the categorical imperative. Um, I need to take fewer ethics classes, I think. But, here we go. Here's your bird, bird, sir. It wasn't easy, but I got him back. I sure hope you're grateful. And that you're nice. Bird, put him in the chest. Blessed be the balance, me faithful friend and companion be back. Don't put him in the chest. Don't put him in the chest. Don't, no, don't. No, 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 no. Not back in the chest. Not in the chest. Help! Ah! Ah! Hmm. What are you even 
doing? What good How does it do you? How can you help me get passage on a ship? I, I be a man of me word. Speak ye with Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon, the ship behind yous. Tell him Umbrianos be sending yous to cash in on that old favor he be owing me. Thanks, old man. Ayr. Ayr. I don't feel good about this. But I guess that's the, uh, that's the real world for you. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Life isn't always rescuing fair maidens and solving everyone's petty problems. Sometimes Hello. you have to sacrifice a talking bird or two. Uh -huh. You know old Umbrianos, don't you? The old drunk? Aye, he'd be a good captain once. But ever since he lost his ship, he hasn't been much worth to anyone. Be that as it may, you do owe him a favor, right? Aye, that I do. He saved my life more than once. And I wouldn't be captain of this beautiful lady if it weren't for him. Guess what? I'm here to cash in on that favor. <laughs> Jal be damned. What did you do for the old geezer? Promise him your hand in marriage? Ew. Don't you mind that, old boy. Just get ready to sail south. You're giving me a lift to the island of Elias. I mean, since you're already heading for Gien. <laughs> I am? That could prove a little tricky. The whole lack of a wind How thing. How come? And the navigator. One, there is no wind. That accursed alchemist up north has put some kind of spell on the wind. Clax, I believe his name is. Roper Clax. I think we've heard of him. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere beyond Riverwood. As long as he's got his dirty claws on the wind, this vessel ain't going nowhere. Then there's a little problem with my crew. I can't very well leave the harbor without a navigator. And my last one decided he didn't much care for the sea anymore and went off to marry a serving maid. Eh, settle but, down. Okay, let's say I manage to free the wind and find you a new navigator. Then will you drop me off on Elias? Ha! <laughs> you think you will be able to defeat Clax, free the wind, and find me a new navigator? By Jaws pus filled left eye, if Ew. you do such a trick, then I... I'll take you wherever you wish to go. Challenge accepted. Most likely, they'll be holding your funeral within the week, girl. <laughs> Just leave the madman be and let the army deal with him. Never you mind. As long as you keep your promise and take me to Elias. What's with Elias, anyhow? <laughs> it's been deserted for hundreds of years. Ever since the Dulmari fell victim to the Great Plague. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I need to visit the Elation people to listen to some hey, of their stories. I was right about the pronunciation there. As if there aren't enough stories here. <laughs> it takes all sorts, that be for sure. Okay. What do you got to say about this? I've turned into everybody's little errand boy. Girl. Person. I do one favor for one person, and boom, I'm running around the entire Northland solving people's problems. It's ti this time it's some whacked out magician, sorry, alchemist, up north somewhere. He has, get this, captured the wind. How the hell do you capture the wind? I mean, I can just wave my hand a bit and voila, instant wind! But who am I to argue? Magic's never really been my forte, so I don't have a choice. I'll have to travel north, try to talk to this alchemist, this Roper Clax guy, into releasing the wind, and then come back here. I don't even know how much time we have left before chaos destroys the world, but I'll have to hurry. And since I'm not particularly familiar with the lay of the Northlands, so to speak, I'll need a map. Though, wasn't this... yeah. It's a map of the Northlands. I'm supposed to deliver this to, uh, Tunlyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. Can we borrow it? Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe, now we can check the journeyman in and see if uh, she's back from her job hunt. April? Such a good game. 
I just, I just really love this game. That's really what it comes down to. And now we, we've got, we've got a purpose. We've got momentum. We got this going. Well, mostly. Oh, or we can just take the road north. Um, I just want to check out the journeyman in just in case. But I have a feeling we're actually, if, if we can take the road north, I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to find Tunlag until we need a navigator. Yes. Do you know when Tunlag? I could not tell you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Fine. I guess maybe all that was supposed to say was that we needed to get the map of the Northlands from the map seller. Oh look, buffalo. Or something. It's a small barn. It's a farmhouse. It's some kind of cattle, but not the kind of cattle they breed in Kansas. Where is Kansas, anyway? I mean, I don't even know where we are. The whole Newport Venice thing. So we can go into the forest. Those monuments? They're enormous, like man-made mountains. I wonder what they are. What they were made for. Well, nothing could possibly go wrong about wandering aimlessly into the forest. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Bird? What are you doing here? There's Mercuria, there's the road north, and there's the forest. This is a whole map of the Northlands, I guess. Let's head into the forest. Oh look, they're little like fireflies. It's a discarded wagon wheel. Cartwheel. It's a discard Okay, um that's yeah. Nothing I guess the fireflies are nothing as well. Let's just, uh, amble about. What's this? That was a very short CGI cutscene, but very pretty. Do you always travel like you got a two-headed Vesperian nymphate on your tail? I couldn't keep up half the time. Crow, is that you? Of course, there was that pair of stunning robin red breasts. Ooh. Twins, did you know? Not as if I could just leave them without a kiss or two. Or twelve, as it turned out. <sighs> Maybe I'm just out of shape after being stuck in boxes and cages and knapsacks for the past twenty years. And pants. I guess it is you. <laughs> of course it's me! How many birds do you know with both good looks and a sense of humor? You got a sense of humor? <laughs> Oh, funny. Nah, that's funny. What are you doing here, Crow? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? How about a nice to see you, Crow? Or I've missed you so much, Crow. Or at least a glad to see you out of that chest, Crow. It is nice to see you, Crow. How did you escape? Cunning, milady. Of course, that keg of Andrigan stone liquor the old geezer got his hands on didn't hurt. I've never seen such a shameful display of public drunkenness in my life. Well, not since the last time I had a thimble full of wine. <laughs> yeah, boy, were those ladies in for a surprise. When they were told I could talk, I'm sure they didn't count on my encyclopedic knowledge of Dolmari obscenities. That I would love to see. The old man was going to gamble me away again, you know. Went straight back to the cup's handler after the, um, uh, celebration. So... I decided to split before they put me back in the cage. That place was like a prison without the amenities. And let's not even mention the food. Did you ever try roasted El Guan Dung? Ew. Pooey. Duh. Don't. Ever. I so, will I take your word for that. So, I picked a button here and some soft tissue there and fled. I had nowhere else to fly, so I decided to join you on your, uh, quest. It sounded like a spot of good old-fashioned fun. Like a bird's own adventure. 
It's not as if I came after you because I like you, though. You don't have any feathers. Of course not. Thank God for that. Okay, if you want to join me, I wouldn't mind some company. I'm guessing you'll be using your wings, though, and not your feet? The ground's no place for a free spirit like myself, baby. Besides, I hear there are a lot of good-looking birds in this forest. And let me tell you, they don't parade about on the ground like winged chickens. Just try to slow down once in a while. Let me catch up. Sure. But how do I get your attention if I need to talk to you? Can you whistle? Like this? <laughs> Sorry. But wait a second. I got a little flute. I could use it to call you. Oh, come on. That's not too hard. I'm not a sheepdog. Let's get that straight. <laughs> you play your tune, and I'll consider your request. I won't be flapping to attention like a tame soldier hawk. No deal. deal. We better get moving, though. It's getting late. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll try to keep an eye out ahead in case there's trouble. He came back. Bye. I love you. So, uh, that's Crow for you. Crow, who I believe is confirmed to be in Dreamfall chapters somehow, I think. I don't know. I remember that coming up. But, yay! Okay. Monday, July 31st. I have no idea what year it is in Arcadia. On the road north. I made a friend! He's very nice. Very funny. And he's a bird. A talking bird. Crow. Nay, bird. He's not actually a crow, but he reminds me of one, and his personality is a lot like Crow Boys, my favorite cartoon character. He's escaped from his owner, or captor to be honest, and decided to join me on my little adventure. I'm just so happy to have someone to talk to, and with luck he'll be able to keep help me out once in a while as well. We agree that I'll use my flute to call on him whenever I need him. You may not be able to tell from my writing, but there's a big silly grin on my face right now. Bird! So yeah, Crow, Crow is, uh, Crow is pretty rad. And you knew they weren't going to let a good, snarky animal companion pass you by. So, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Uh, yes? Uh, hi. Oh, it's like a little sloth person. You're friendly, right? Oh dear. Oh dear me. Please, human, don't kill me and skin me. Aww. I haven't even sung to the soil yet. Are you a baby? Oh, April. I, I want to, but I can't. I just can't. Though. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill you or skin you. Oh my, that is good news. Very good indeed. Who are you? He sounds like Piglet. My name's April. What's yours? I mean, in tone, not in my actually language, in voice. It's Bandu Umana Banta Au Rubana Bitana Benort. It means the little one who tries hard to live up to his father who sings to the soil. That's a mouthful. So, um, what do I call you? You can call me Ben Bandu. The sad little one. Aww. Banda is the name of my people. We are the little ones. Why are you sad? Why are you sad, Ben Bandu? I'm looking for my brother. He's been gone in the forest for many days, and I've not heard him sing to us. Our people don't walk about the forest much. It's too dangerous for us. Hmm. You haven't seen my brother, have you? He's short, about my height, with a tan coat, and a mischievous glint in his eye. Hmm. You're the first mole. The first Banda I've met. Oh dear. I hope he's alright. A lot of our people have disappeared this summer. Hmm. I don't want to ask this. This is culturally insensitive. Aren't your people called the mole people? Let's do it. That's what the city dwellers and farmers call us. They say it with sharp tongue. Moles. Dirt diggers. They don't like us very much. That's sad. Our given name is Banda, the little ones. Or the Banda Banta, the little ones who sing to the soil. 
This is so cute. How do you sing to the soil? When we're old enough, and we found our voices, we just sing. And the earth shapes itself to our needs. We live in harmony with the earth, just like the birds do with the air. Didn't we hear something? What happened to the Banda that disappeared? About creatures We who don't really know. Form the There's earth. There's something evil in this forest. Toes. Something that doesn't like the Banda. I shouldn't be out here looking, but I must find my brother. If I see him, I'll let him know you're looking for him. Do you want to come with me? Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. We could start an adventuring party. Good It'd luck be on so your good. search, Ben Bandu. Sad little one. And the best of luck to you, April. <laughs> Please, if, if you see my brother, tell him to come home. We're all so very worried. I love how he has perfect diction for the rest of English, but the word April is weird. Um, I... Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk to Crow about this. This is gonna play every single time, isn't it? It's okay, it's really pretty. Hey, so, Crow, would you mind doing me a favor? Oh, dear. I was having this tete-a-tete -tete with a pretty young sparrow, but hey, Crow at your service. Did you say favor? Oh, sure thing, unless it's something extremely... Uh, no, no, make that even remotely dangerous. I don't like dangerous. Not at all. Just scout out the forest from your vantage point. See if you can find Ben Bandu's brother. Ben Bandu's ben brother? Who? The mole I just met. I thought you were supposed to be watching me. Didn't you pay attention? Didn't you pay attention? He said no. he was flirting. Uh, mole, you said. They're savages, a lot of them. You eat birds, even. Uh, Crow, I eat birds. You probably do, too. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, I love a roasted duckling in a tangy orange. Oh, well, uh, yeah, 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 I see your point. Duckling. Looking for a lost mole, then, are we? Yeah, and they're called the Banda. I never got into that whole PC thing. It's not Tyrox, it's the tyrant. Don't say chicks say birds. Don't say birds say <laughs> women. I don't know. It's all a little too complicated for a simple man of the air like myself. Just go look for the lost mole. The lost Bandu, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Crow. Every single time. And... I had my first encounter with a Banda today. Saying Mole Man is apparently like a racial epithet and a big no-no with these people. His name was Ben Bandu. He was a really sweet man, or boy, whatever he was, I can't really tell. But he was sad. Ben had lost his brother in the forest, and he was looking for him. I told him I'd keep my eyes open, and urged Crow to do the same. I hope he's alright, because if he isn't, this forest is probably not such a friendly place after all. Well, let's forge on ahead. The bridge is out! Damn! Of course the bridge is out! Oi. The bridge has been completely destroyed. Yeah, it has. The edges are charred. Whatever caused this, it couldn't have been flood water or simple wear and tear. I'll have it to find like some fire. other way across. This gorge is too deep to cross and the river too fierce. I guess I can hear water. Hmm. That wasn't what I wanted. Um, uh, money? Probably not helpful. Calculator? Probably not helpful. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of these helping us cross a river. Hmm. Well, there hasn't really been anything to interact with, is my main problem. Um. Oh. What are you doing here? It's a woman, I guess. An old woman, and it looks like she's in pain. Oh. We'll see what we can do to help. Oh, please, pretty lady, pretty please help me. I've fallen and I can't stand up. What happened to you? 
Oh, I was out picking bones, uh, berries, berries for my stew and In flowers. Case the, uh, yes, didn't... pretty flowers. Then I tripped over a big old root and okay. twisted my ankle. It hurts so. Please help me home, pretty lady, please. I get the feeling this woman isn't particularly on the level. <sighs> I don't want to listen to her talk more, but I have to. Where do you live? Contractually obligated. I live not far from here, not far at all. No, help me home and I'll cook you a fine stew, I promise. Yes, I promise. Just help me home and I'll reward you for your compassion. Yes, you'll have your reward. Yeah, never trust anyone that puts yes in the middle of, like, every single one of their clauses, or who hisses their S's. Who are you? Oh, I'm nobody, nobody at all. Just a frail old woman picking bones. How do you even pick berries, bones? Berries, picking berries for her stew so she can feed her prisoner guests. Feed her guests and fatten them up for um, the long winter. Man, people in this game are really bad at, uh... Telegraphing their intentions a little too violently. We could probably use, we could probably deal with a little more subtlety. Why do you keep swallowing your words? <laughs> oh, because I'm just a frail old forgetful woman, yes. At least April points it out. <sighs> Stupidity is the only option. All right, I'll help you home. Oh, yes! Thanks, plump little Trish. A nice, pretty girl, thanks. What could possibly go wrong? Um. She looks like a dark spawn. Jeez. I still need your help, Plump a pretty girl. I can't walk all the way home by myself, you see. Help me home and I'll cook you. A good, thick, creamy stew. Yum, I'm getting hungry myself. Let's go. Okay, the, uh, uh, the... I don't know, like the growling behind her, like myself, that was, that was creepy. Lead the way, ma'am. Yes, let's go. Come on, just follow me, my sweet treat. Yeah, that's creeping me out, man. Oh good, a hobble. I love hobbles. You don't look like the edible sort. In fact, these mushrooms look cancerous. And ugly. They look cancerous, and I'd rather not touch them. They look cancerous, and I'd rather not touch them. Can't blame me for that. Looks like a cozy little burrow. Like a hobbit hole. Okay. Cozy. It's a good word for it. Um, again, I'm pretty sure that you can't die in this game, but, um, I think I'm going to save just in case. I think we'll actually go into this house in the next video. See you then.